Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about a brand new Facebook ads feature, and that is the ability to add polls to your Facebook ads. And what's really cool about it is you can take people to different pages depending on which option they select with your poll. So you, if they select option A, they go to this page on your website, or if they select option B, they go to this page on your website. So pretty cool stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So we do need to be in our ads manager and we wanna go ahead and hit create. And I'm gonna close this out of here. And I am in the guided creation area. So if your screen looks different than mine, like you're in the quick creation and you wanna follow along, click this switch to guided creation button and you'll be in the same type of screen as me. Now these poll ads only work with a few of these objectives. They work with brand awareness, reach, traffic, conversions, and app install. So any of these objectives that I just mentioned, it works with. And also it only works with video ads at this point in time. So you do need a video ad to make this work. I'm gonna go ahead and go with conversions and come on down here. I'm gonna go ahead and name my campaign real quick. I just call it demo poll ad. And I'm not doing anything with split testing or campaign budget optimization. Just gonna hit continue now. And now I'm at the ad set level and I already have videos on targeting and all that type of stuff. So if you need help with targeting, link in the description down below. But we do have to do one thing down here. We do need to select mobile devices because these poll ads only work on mobile devices at this point in time. So let's go ahead and do manual placements here and we wanna go ahead and do mobile devices and we need to go ahead and limit it just to the news feed. So let's turn off all those options and keep Facebook news feed open. So turn all this other stuff off. So that's kind of the downside right now is they're only working in mobile news feed and there's an article, I'll go ahead and link to it in the description below as well. Uh, maybe they'll update it, but you can see right here that you know it video ad campaign, so only videos in the Facebook mobile news feed. So that's the current requirements for these poll ads. So again, I'll link to it down below in case they do update it, but you wanna make sure you're, you're doing that. And then we'll come on down, we'll hit continue now. And now we're at the ad level. And so we do have to go ahead and select single image or video because it is a video, that's all it works with, so video. And then we go ahead and select our media. So let's go ahead and add video. And I'm just gonna select this video right here and continue. And you see the option right here for add poll. So we click that and it pops up our options. So we can go ahead and add a poll and this part is pretty self-explanatory. So what's your poll question? Choice one, choice two. And then we can go ahead and add links to each choice. So if they select choice one, go to this page or choice two, go to this page, right? So that's where it's pretty cool. And I think it's very interesting. And I look forward to seeing if they make any improvements or they let you create different steps or something like that. Like they click choice one and then they get two other options and then they click another option. Like I think they could do some cool stuff in here, but anyway, we can see that we have a preview on the right hand side. So this is what our ad looks like. We have a video and then which would you choose? Choice one, choice two. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out real quick. And so there we go. I've gone ahead and created my poll. Now there are some other video options over here which are available with any type of video. So I'm not gonna discuss it in this video cause we're just talking about polls. But if you wanna make other changes, you have options. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now we wanna come down here and go ahead and fill out the rest of our information. So we can go ahead and add some primary text right now. So throw that in there. Uh, headline and description, they don't work at this point in time. So you can fill it in or leave it blank. Again, they might change it later on in the future and headline and description will show up with these poll ads, but right now they don't. Uh, we do need to go ahead and provide a link still. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then we have to go ahead and add a display link as well. So let me do that. And then we can go ahead and add a call to action button. I'm just gonna leave it at learn, learn more. I'm not sure where it might show up because the poll has the buttons on it already. So I'm not sure what the point is really. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it at learn more. And then I'm gonna come on down here. I wanna make sure my tracking's turned on. And if I'm doing anything with URL parameters, I could go ahead and add that as well. And we can see exactly what my ad looks like. And then all I gotta do is go ahead and confirm and it'll go through Facebook's approval process, hopefully it gets approved, and then my ad will go live and hopefully make me lots and lots of money. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them down below. If you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.